welcome to the Hot TV YouTube channel. Um, in this episode, we're starting a new series of episodes called Hot TV Show. So we are basically just going to cover all the Hawthorne-based news that's happened in the last week or so. Um, and yeah, just review the week, and we'll review the month, and review everything that's happened. And first off, I'm going to start with, um, an interesting kind of category. Um, I was thinking, is Sam Frost done at Hawthorne? Is his time done at Hawthorne? Um, because we've got Josh Battle and Tom Barras who are very, um, good prospects, very good key defenders that are very likely to come to the brown and gold, um, at the end of, at the start of next year. Um, and obviously Sydney were going to try and, um, get in on this deal and they think they sh have shown interest in Sam Frost obviously because they don't have a big bodied really key defender for the Swans so I've shown interest in Sam Frost um so his time may be done at the Hawks we'll see how the trade period plays out but I'm really interested to see what will happen with the trade with Brass. Um, obviously in battles a free agent, so we won't need to give anything there, but we're going to have to give up a fair bit to get Barras, so maybe it'll be a three-way trade and Sydney might get in on it, um, obviously wanting Sam Frost. Um, and, yeah, so... Um, yeah, Sam Frost time might be done at the Hawks, which is not amazing, obviously, because he had a very strong, consistent year this year. He really kept key forwards um, quiet, um, especially ones in the form like Kerno and um, Larky. Obviously, not kicking many goals, if any, and keeping doing a really good job at full back. Um, obviously next the girls had a good win um girls had a good win last week on the weekend on saturday against the saints um at rca park they won two five seventeen to eleven eleven eight sorry eleven eight seventy four um, Greta Bodie obviously starring, kicking six goals. Bloody hell. Um, and um, Taylor just rod racked up 23 disposals, so did Lucy Wales. And I think everyone basically played well. Everyone had their own good game. Um, even Mackenzie Adley, she had... Um, only five disposals, but she racked up f um, five tackles and four marks, um, four hit outs. So there's a, all there's all positives um, from that game, and hopefully we can keep it going against Geelong tomorrow. When I'm filming this, it's tomorrow. Um, and yeah, I think that um, the girls they're going really well. At the moment, I'm um, sitting fifth on the ladder, three and one. Um, so yeah, obviously a 17 to 74 win is always good to boost the confidence. Um, and they're going along really well. Um, and then Jai Newcomb, obviously Brownlow medal a couple of nights ago. He polled 24 votes, which is the bit a lot the biggest amount of a Hawthorne player in a very, in a bit, in a while, I think, it was, um, 24 votes for Newcomb, um, and he 
won the polling by a long way. Um, Jai, he was probably our best midfielder all season, and obviously we know how well he put his pole in the brown line. Um, but yeah, he was definitely one of our best this season. Um, he, 24 votes, um, is very good. He'll be happy with that. And recognising his hard work, John Newcomb, and obviously Blake Hardwick, earning his, um, earning his, um, first Brownlow votes ever in his career, obviously. It took him, he, um, going down forward as a backman and kicking four goals is what it took to, um, yeah, is what it took to get into round low roads, but, um, he'll be happy with that. He'll be excited and so are all of us for his sake. Um, and yeah, so it's good, good times at the moment for the Hawks, obviously trade period getting underway in maybe, I think it's a month or two, um, I'm really excited to see who Hawthorne do recruit for new season, um, obviously there was talks as well about Perryman, but I don't think that is in the right spot to be happening at the moment, um, but yeah, we had, um, um, some interesting news during the week, um, Hawthorne related, um, and yeah, I just can't wait to see what happens, um, during the next couple of months, um, who we get from the trade, um, and yeah, I, Hawthorne definitely heading in the right direction, um, towards um what we're trying to achieve and i can't wait to keep going with this series um of the hawk tv show and really breaking down what happened throughout the week um so yeah i'm very happy to keep doing this um and yeah good times ahead for the hawks as we progress through the off season and into 2025 which is Looking like it's going to set up to be a very, um, very big season for the Hawks. But, um, until the next episode on the Hawk TV YouTube channel, stay safe and go Hawks.